Stephen 851, turn right, heading 180. 14 Papa, turn right 245, report localizer established. There's another new order within the aviation industry as we do slowly approach the new year. This time the order is involving the 737 MAX 8 200, one of, if not a variant in the 737 MAX widely, that has continued to fly under the radar and has undoubtedly though fitted a specific niche that many have labelled as just generally Ryanair. Although it is a niche variant, it still has had its successes with Ryanair, as expected with them going in big on orders for this type. The order revealed, though, in the past day is from 777 Partners, who have placed the order for 30 of the type, and deliveries will commence from 2024, so roughly now two or potentially closer to three years, depending on the month of delivery. When speaking in a press release, Josh Wander, who is currently the managing partner of none other than 777 Partners, said, We're confident that this aircraft will be the hallmark ultra-low-cost carrier and low-cost carrier asset particularly in the sub-200 seat market, as travel demand returns. 777 has accelerated our quest for operating costs and carbon footprint efficiencies at our operating carriers. The 737-8 is compelling in these areas, and the 737-8-200 is simply unrivaled. In addition, the 737 MAX will be a crucial aircraft for its two partner airlines moving forward, that being of Flair from Canada and Bonza in Australia, both similar in their own way, with many labelling Bonza, a new airline launching within Australia next year, as almost Australia's Flair, and hoping to take the market following the closure of Tiger Air Australia. This was due to the pandemic, which has left notably a gap in the market. The idea of the gap in the market that has been left by Tiger Air Australia has definitely been noted by that of Mr. Wanda. As he further said, countries without an independent low-cost airline, which is not a beholden to a legacy parent group, are always towards the top of the travel cost index. Even the announcement of market entry by Bonza has seen subsequent responses from the incumbents launching services on routes that they've never touched in the past. What do you make of the new order placed by 777 Partners? And ultimately, how do you think it'll impact its partner airlines that the aircraft will eventually be headed to, being that of Flair and Bonza? You can let me know down in the comment section below. Today's video is a little bit of a shorter one, but I do still hope you enjoyed it. Do take care and be safe, and I'll see you next time.